Well, Tennesseans have really been stepping up in a big way, helping our neighbors in Florida devastated by Ian's wrath. Well, Stephanie Langston caught up with a family from Fort Myers now living in Chapel Hill, who is now heading down south after collecting a truckload of goods from the community. She joins us. You can see her there live from the Red Cross, where our fundraising efforts continue today. Steph. Well, Alex, our fundraising efforts now up to nearly $25,000 thanks to the viewers and a generous donation from Ascend Federal Credit Union challenging others to do the same. They gave $5,000. Now, we are the volunteer state after all. Today, we saw that firsthand in Spring Hill as a family of natives from Fort Myers packed up and hit the road, taking along with them a trailer load of necessities. Although hundreds of miles away, the Spring Hill community pitched in, helping those left to start over. It's amazing to see the community come together for people they don't know. The efforts started with a simple Facebook post by Giovanni and Chelsea Mokiori. We all grew up there, um, so the entire, it's, it's demolished, it's, it's gone. Everything we've ever known, the buildings, the restaurants, the places where we went to school, um, places where some of us got married. The couple watched Ian's path closely, where their family and friends remain. Last minute, by the grace of God, they, they evacuated inland. Um, my father, no. A hopeless feeling for the mother of three. I was praying out loud, begging that he would make it out alive, and he did. Grateful their family and friends survived, but heartbroken as their loved ones are left with nothing. We're going to fill up. We're going to collect as much as we can because people have nothing. They have the, the shirt on their back. From water to dog food, today they're collecting basic necessities. There's no power or anything. They, they have all the water mains shut off, so you're not even getting water to your home right now. Um, so, you, I mean, simple things that you wouldn't even think of, like brushing your teeth or, you know, washing your hands. It's just, it's just not possible right now. Um, so we just want to get as much clean water and uh, just food and uh, other stuff to them as, as soon as possible. It's a feeling this family knows all too well, hit by Hurricane Irma five years ago, almost to the date. After that, you know, when everything is taken from you, you just kind of look at your life and it's like, let's go try something new. So we packed up and we left all of our friends and family and we restarted here. Tennessee proving their volunteer spirit with Fort Myers in their hearts. We've never stopped praying. We're gonna get you through this and I'm gonna do everything in my power to help our people. So hard to see. The family says they saw an incredible outpouring of support and they plan to go back in a couple of weeks with another truckload. We'll have more live reports from our efforts here at the American Red Cross as we raise money. Back to you, Mark.